Even at Blackpool, nature is no respecter of party conferences. However, inside the Tory headquarters, all was bright and optimistic. Enoch Powell counted on support. Party chairman Edward Duchan denied that he was resigning. And as the weather was totally unsuitable for swimming, Quentin Hogg accepted a compromise. His capital stood out like a beacon even if Blackpool had switched on the illuminations. For the Conservative leader, the conference was an opportunity to strengthen his position. Ted Heath isn't the man to quaver under criticism. The mecca of all the delegates was the Winter Gardens. Most of them had a soft spot in their hearts for Selwyn Lloyd and for another veteran of Macmillan governments, Duncan Sands, not to mention that bold buccaneer and staunch individualist, Gerald Nabarro. All opposition party conferences dream of being back in office. The expected attacks on the leadership were not made. Edward Heath was applauded by floor and platform, Ian McLeod joining in. The government came in for full-blooded denunciation. Tea with a party leader. A great day for Roger Pemberton, aged 15, and the youngest delegate. Well, about 200 years ago, the younger Pitt was Prime Minister at 24.